Welcome back. I'm Praveen. I'm a DevOps engineer. We are going through the course called Ansible, which is a configuration and management and orchestration tool. Since now we have covered major parts of the Ansible training and technologies and its associated uh, chapters. So the, the, the major things covered are installation of Ansible in the module number two. The module number three shows how do you configure Ansible in our environment and in the lab setup in Ichureka servers. And in the module number four, we learned about playbook modules. Module number five was all about Ansible separate modules, which is given by Ansible. Module six, we discussed on Ansible roles. These, these topics were really important in designing the course framework and implementing in the infrastructure. Now we are going to start working on something called Ansible command line usage. So to begin with, uh, we need to make sure that uh, how uh, good we are at, uh, you know, checking my infrastructure status. So. As we all know from the module one, we have been uh, deployed uh, various machines via AWS command line and we have deployed in a Sydney data center. We have uh, um, four machines. One is three machines are Red Hat and uh, one machines are CentOS and the master machine is a Red Hat machine. So we tried working with various playbooks. We tried working with various roles. We tried working with various modules. We have installed Ansible in various configurations. Now we are back again on module number seven, checking on um, how to use Ansible command line when the work needs to be done quicker and um, when the when the data or uh, needs to be done in a smooth and the efficient and the fast made mode. So now we will start working on command line. How do you use command line usage? So let's start beginning with a lecture called installing the packages via command line. We have been doing this since a long time, but uh, it's always good to have uh, uh, to know uh, the part certain p particulars or certain parameters. How do we use uh, uh, these stuffs in our environment to make sure to we, we do the automation far better in this uh, configuration management tool. So to start on with, um, let's uh, check whether uh, I have Ansible connectivity of uh, for all my machines. Ansible hyphen M all hyphen M ping which proves me that uh, this is connected and we don't have any problems and I can just go to cat etc ansible host this proves me that it's also good here and I need to check the package connectivity whether my local repositories are really good working fine so I can uh, use a lot of commands but we will check where using our ansible command line usage so how do we check the package repository the first chapter which we are going to discuss is uh, installing packages the Ansible command line allows us to use modules to do things across one or more servers in our environment. Let's explore some examples. Okay, so we know the Ansible environment is intact and I'm just going to my home directory back here. So uh, let me just uh, check my all hosts Ansible all hyphen hyphen list hyphen hosts. It is going to show me these are the machines which are configured in our environment. And uh, if I want to install HTTPD on the latest package, um, since we are doing in command line, we are doing we are doing everything now in command line. So Ansible space all. So we, if you are doing all, then we have a Ubuntu machine in picture. So we don't want to do all. We have a groups as we discussed. So cat etc Ansible host. So we have a group called Red Hat. We have a group called App Server. We have a group called Ubuntu. So we will use a Red Hat group and App Server group regularly because Ubuntu we require APT package management system as, as we did ex explain in the previous classes. So Ansible um, all Ansible Red Hat hyphen S is for sudo hyphen M. Red Hat is a group name where you have two servers hyphen M is for module m module hyphen a is a command to execute pkg equal to h top is a package and we are going to put state equal to latest enter the command line uh, in installation it's going to show us whether we can install h top package um, in in my destination machines yes it can install a stop package in my destination machines and uh, but since the package is already installed it's showing in green if the package is not installed it's showing in uh, it's going to show in yellow so we're going to start uh, using ubuntu and ch check whether we can install htop we need to use package management is apt try using this let's see if it's going to work yeah now we can see we have installed htop in Ubuntu which shows yellow color because htop was not earlier present in Ubuntu. Let me go and check here. htop. Yes, we can see it's, it's already installed. It's good now. Fine. We learned just one single command to install a package and 
if I want to remove the package so what I do is I just instead of state latest I can just put absent then this is gonna remove the package in my uh, machine here if I just type htop the package don't exist that's it very simple command line tools okay so next what we are going to discuss now is uh, we know we install some package we try to we can install any kind of package like uh, um, present we can put present and put uh, change the package called JIT we can install JIT package let's say it's going to install JIT yes we can install JIT and we can check the verification again we can see JIT is installed now in Ubuntu remember we are doing it in Ubuntu if I want to remote put it absent it's very simple very clean very fast perfect now we're gonna see in the in, in my node here it's not gonna remote it, it is JIT is remote fine so we just did with simple examples of installing packages now gonna start with ansible command line of using services and how do we use services and how do we use hosts okay so i will start installing a package called httpd um, into my uh, red hat machines so let me just put httpd because we want to use them as a service later right so i'm gonna use red hat machines for this red hat which is having two machines and i'm going to use change the package management module to m it is going to install the package it's already installed as i know now we need to use services so since we are discussing about ansible command line services and hosts we're going to start the service ansible red hat um uh, we're going to use ansible red hat then uh, i am going to use a user called test i'm going to use sudo i'm going to use module called service in a command line and what should I execute is given by a command called iPhone A and name equal to HTTPD state equal to restarted. Before running that, let me just go to this machine and 158 machine stop the service and uh, it should show yellow. Let me start now as extra parameters. Okay, it is having extra parameters. HTTPD uh, 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 uh. run yeah 158 is changed restarted it's restarted since you are using restarted let me just try, try again it is going to restart it restarted because restarted is a command which is going to restart the service and some change is going to happen that's why it's always showing yellow if you uh, use stop it's going stop again if you stop it's going to show green because we already know it stopped that's why it's showing green if you we are going to start it restarted means it is going to have change every time isn't it started now again you're going to start it's going to show as green because it's already started fine so uh, that we have uh, checked with the services stuff in ansible command line usage if i want to list all the files under uh, var directory i can use using command line um, uh, up, you know command line property because uh, we are just working on host now so what we can do now is uh, ansible all hyphen u test is a user hyphen s is a sudo hyphen m command is a module and hyphen a i want to list out all the files under ls hyphen a l under var i can list it using command line here you can see you can find all the files which is coming very fast in the command line if i want to uh, see all the files under um, my home directory so i can do this and it's gonna show all the files under my home directory in my various machines it's really cool isn't it um if i want to you know run it on a specific host i'm gonna use vim hosts and uh, i can see my host is available one of the hosts is 151 is available i can use ansible hyphen i host host and hyphen u test hyphen s hyphen m command hyphen a ls hyphen a a l slash var executed okay it's gonna missing the target host uh, perfect it is going to show only the host which i specified and override that and it's going to show the data perfect good so we are done with ansible command line services and hosts and the next concept which we are going to discuss is commands and shells so now we are going to use a concept of shell shell module and uh, what we can do is now uh, let's check whether the ansible uh, is intact 
I'm gonna show this and see what I'm, and I'm gonna use module called ping perfect and uh, I'm gonna use uh, shell commands to make sure that uh, we can use uh, stuff good so I am gonna use uh, ansible all hyphen u test hyphen m command hyphen a so you, you you must be observing I'm still using the module command but I will use the shell command right now so I can see everything is happening but uh, the same thing can be replaced with uh, shell let me see it's gonna work yes it's gonna function fine the same thing can be replaced with the raw perfect so uh, everything will gonna work if uh, you replace command with shell or shell with raw fine we also can run arbitrary commands like uh, that way uh, i do df i finish i do get TTT red hat release i can do it using my red hat ansible very fast on all the host ansible all hyphen u test hyphen a ls slash etc so i'm gonna just uh, put this one put ls slash etc ls slash etc i can see all the etc files from all the hosts are coming here and appearing in front of my screen good if i try to grab or if i try to list all the files which is the, the the file is not present like ran it is going to show problem perfect right only the directory is available it is going to list everything that's run, running that's running an arbitrary commands so what i do is cat etc red hat you know in uh, ubuntu it does not have red hat release it is having issue cat etc issue i can see Ubuntu is showing Ubuntu and other things are showing kernel in Red Hat. Perfect. Right. So we are running some arbitrary commands if you want to run even df h df h pipeline cat. It is gonna show up. I need to remove this df h It is gonna show df h of all the systems. Fast, quick, good, very fast. Um if I want to see um, any kind of uh, any other thing you find like uh, free hyphen m that is a memory command you can see the free hyphen m on all my machines if i uh, want to see any kind of um, top i can uh, use that but top is getting you know required a tty that's not happening um cat etc proc it is going to okay it's not happening it's not cat etc scat proc cpu info so this is going to show me uh, proc cpu info details of all the machines first thing is 105 which is a intel xeon cpu which is running on uh, such particular hardware and uh, everything has been running on particular hardware using cat cat proc cpu this is running an arbitrary command is really helpful in kind of infrastructure environment okay so what next so we need to just showcase the output in a tree format that we can do here in the ansible command line usage so what we can do is ansible red hat red hat um, hyphen u test hyphen s hyphen em module m hyphen a pkg equal to telnet state equal to latest hyphen t tree format you want to get output in tree format hyphen t results it's going to install telnet and it's going to show the output in uh, the the you know format there so let me just check 157 58 it is in my home directory i can see my directory is form here results in my master file my, in my master server and i can see the uh, tree format uh, the arbitrary tree, tree format results are coming here whatever the results are coming i can get it here okay so uh, if i just want to try uh, output tree format here in results dot one hyphen p then you can see the results hyphen p is from here results you know um, results file we can find results dot one is formed here and i can see two directories one five eight and the results are put up in particular directory in tree format so if i want to see properly then use tree i can see the results are getting populated in a tree format if i want to use a uh, tree results 
populated like this in tree format the output so we all done with uh, command line usage there are a lot of things we can do in command line usage i have explained um, some cases which we can use it very fast quick and get the output desired output very quickly if you want to uh, and also we, we need to just uh, make sure uh, we we can use it command line via uh, running users on uh, creating a cron jobs we can do that um, so i can just create one user via command line like this ansible red hat hyphen u uh, username is uh, john hyphen oops 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 sorry i need to use my username called test hyphen s hyphen m user module user module in command line hyphen a then name equals to test sorry name equal to john the new user which i am creating uid equal to 25001 you can create your own uid name shell um, equal to slash bin slash bash and close the thing and you can create a user on all the three machine two machines go to this machine and type finger hyphen m john oops finger hyphen m john it's not finger application is not there so i can check like this that it is a password grep hyphen i john i can see the john account is having a user id of 225001 perfect we created in user if you want to remove the user what we can do is again name equal to john state equal to absent and remove equal to yes it is going to remove the id just check cat it is a password it's not going to present and the id has been removed perfect with command line if we want to do a cron job as we have explained in ansible playbooks and ansible modules and ansible roles we can do it in the command line as well ansible red hat hyphen u test hyphen s for sudo if if you are using a root then use sudo otherwise don't use it hyphen m cron module hyphen a name equal to cron test and minute equal to zero and hours equal to 12 so job what job you want the, the rest of the other settings like weekdays and weekends years it will be like star job equal to ls iphone al slash war which is gonna go with home test cron dot log okay and i'm gonna just okay so this might be having a syntax issue because i have added one extra um colon there i'm gonna to do this then if you do this as extra parameters maybe like equal to was given with a space perfect as extra parameters then if that is the case then i have uh, some space constraints here perfect module as so it's as r r i am not sure let me just put r perfect if i go back to a uh, cron tab here just to put cron tab iphon l i can see the cron test has been added here with the hash and the hours that the, the cron job is scheduled i can see the same thing here in cron tab iphon l I can just make sure that I can do it in Ubuntu machine as well. Just go replace Red Hat or replace with all. Replace with all. And it's going to do the same thing in all machine. Whatever server is done, it's show green. Whatever server is not done, it's going to go yellow. I just go here and type cron tab hyphen L. I can see cron tab is scheduled. So if I want to remove the cron tab, it's very simple. Just uh, make sure that name equal to cron test and uh, state equal to absent a command line state equal to absent oops 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 i need to just make sure that i close the quotation properly now it's gonna work check the cron tab in my ubuntu machine it shows was showing earlier and now it is not there cron tab by funnel now it's not there cool clear crisp not there so all good now we are just done with uh, commands and shells users management cron job management via command line running arbitrary commands and output tree of generation of outputs so we all good now so um i hope uh, um, the modules from one to seven has been beneficiary for you um after this uh, we are going to start with new concept called use case we are having a real-time example called nginx web server rolling upgrades and we're going to have 
um, serial and parallel execution involvement in this so thank you